Hello, my name is Mark Periello. I'm the president here at the Kauai Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us for our one-on-one -on -one candidate interview with Bernard Cavallo. Hello. Aloha. Yeah, welcome. Oh, Mark, thank you so much. Man. Yeah, we're glad to have you here today. Um, Bernard is running for county council here on Kauai. Um, and before we get started, I would like to thank our sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, Kauai Chapter, the Kauai Federal Credit Union, the Kauai Filipino Chamber of Commerce, the Kauai Island Utility Cooperative, Keikaha Ag Association, Lahui Business Association, and last but certainly not least, Hoike Kauai Community Television for donating their services and time for making these interviews possible. Thank you, Hoike. So with that, uh, if you don't mind, we'll hop right into some questions. Sure. Mahalo. All right. Um, the first question is the softball. Please tell us about yourself and why you are running for re-election to county council. Yes. Well, aloha. My name is Bernard Cavallo, Jr. Uh, you know, I have uh, been in government for many years, 17 years as a civil servant, six years as department head, 10 years as mayor. So I bring to the table, you know, background of government experience. And then, of course, my first two-year term as council member and enjoying it as a council member. And I just feel like I can bring back, you know, some of the experience and the knowledge to the table as a council member. And just serve the people of Kauai and Nihau uh, in this level. And I look forward to reaching out and connecting and sharing my experience with all of you. So I hope that you folks will um, uh, be able to understand my concept and what I believe in and look forward to your support uh, coming up in December for our county council, one of the seven county council members. And I look forward to serving the people of Kauai. Nice. Um, thank you. So let's hop into some issues. Okay. Um, so what is your vision for a thriving agricultural sector on Kauai, especially one that is capable of feeding our community? And how can the county council support that vision? Agriculture is such an important part of who we are, our island. Born and raised here from the sugarcane to the pineapple fields and all that. And in, in my government experience. And I know we've had a lot of issues, um, but to answer the question and moving forward, I think we need to continue to reach out into our community, connect with our farmers, provide whatever resources that they need to continue doing what they're doing, whether they're growing, whether it's livestock. I know we have a current bill on the, on the floor right now looking at um, just in general agricultural land and working on that. But just to put one example, I think for the community, our, our agricultural park in Kilauea, mm -hmm. that 75 acres was dedicated specifically as an agricultural park. And it tied in within each community. I look forward to having that same kind of example throughout the island. And this is one example uh, to help support not only the community part, of course the school, it tied into um, teaching our kids about agriculture as well and growing from the field to the school, from the field to the table example. So the agricultural park thinking is at that level. The bigger picture working with our farmers and our farmers association, all of that, as a council member, I look forward to really looking and reaching out in all areas to assure that agriculture is the forefront, even our, our farmer's market and all mm -hmm. of that happening, Grow Farm, our farmer's market, and all of it, really ties into what we grow uh, on Kauai and how we revitalize our, our farming community. All right, great, um, thank you. So the next question is on tourism. Mm -hmm. um, high visitor accounts are contributing to growing tensions between residents and tourists. What specific steps could you take or have you taken on county council to manage our destination more effectively so that residents and tourists alike can enjoy the best of this beautiful island we call home? Beautiful island we call home. Tourism is such a big part of who we are. A lot of our family, my own family members, work in the tourism industry from before, so it's important. But it's all about balance. And um, I feel, having been involved in the tourism strategic plan, there's all the plans involved, but the bottom line is how to welcome our visitors, our tourists, with aloha. But at the same time, having them be able to respect the aina, respect the land, respect the people. And have our people welcome them with aloha. But it's all about balance. And we've got to make sure that there's a true balance between how many visits come at what time, how they visit our island, 
looking at opportunities to get out of the cars and maybe do more shuttle services here and there like we talked about. The only way you're going to get down to Princeville and Hanalei is via, uh, to Hanalei is via shuttle example. Mm. And you know, we're working on some of the parts there. Um, and same with other parts of our island. And then of course, um, you know, the airport expansion plan too, that's another one I've been listening in on. I think that's mm -hmm. a big window as our people come from afar to our island. How do we manage that and keep the um, balance, I'm going to use the word balance, uh, and keep our visitor in industry thriving, our hotels and all of that. But it, again, for me, knowing all the different facets of tourism and the importance of it, it's really as a council member, administrative, you know, finding the balance that we need to do to all continue right. to work with all the resources and the businesses and connecting and bringing back home so we can find the balance between the tourism and, and our visitors and, and our people. All right, thank you. Um, so sh shifting gears, uh, many chamber members uh, report that the lack of affordable housing is contributing to them preventing, or preventing them rather, from recruiting qualified workers. Um, new recruits are turning down jobs because they can't find a reasonably priced home or rental. Uh, with many businesses reducing hours and services, the situation has reached crisis proportions. Um, as a member of the County Council, how would you ensure that our working middle-class residents can afford to rent or buy a home here on Kauai, and how long will your vision take to implement? Housing is such a big concern overall. Workforce housing. I know the whole development of Ailihui Town Core Plan included housing as well. We have, before the old days, you have housing on the top of, of the business part and then you kind of go downstairs. That's how we, I grew up with. So the whole town core development, the grant we got here for Tiger Grant, walkable, mm -hmm. bikeable communities, which included this whole thinking mm -hmm. and continue to support housing in general. I mean, with the projects that I've been involved in from Kolopua out in Princeville to Kanikoo is senior housing right here in Lihui to Kauai in Koloa. I mean, having the understanding of what it takes to reach out, connect federal, state, county, bring the information back home, but connect with the people. Mm -hmm. And so specifically for the workforce housing part, I mean, it would be beautiful to have it done within the town core. I know it's talking about it, but getting it done, that's the next step. Right. But believe me, I understand totally the need for housing in general at all levels. Mm -hmm. And I've had that experience to reach out and connect from the federal state, I, I said that earlier, but more about the people part. Yeah. And whatever developers or opportunities come there where we can connect and assure that you will build this, but this will be set aside for mm -hmm. workforce housing, senior housing, whatever it is. And so it's important that that communication dialogue is strong mm -hmm. and the vision is there um, overall from what I experienced. And so I look forward to um, taking that to the next level. And, um, Moving even like in the Kapa area, we just had a meeting in the Kapa area too. I yeah. mean, all throughout the island. Mm -hmm. But the experience that I've had in bringing resources back would be here at the Lihui Town Court Plan and, okay. and kind of taking that example and moving to the next level. Yeah. Uh, in, in securing housing for our workforce, our seniors, our families, our residents, all. all. Okay. And I think that's the biggest part. Mm -hmm. and, and, and not just talking about it, but uh, right. <laughs> connecting everybody and making it happen for the betterment of our island. There you go. All right, um, <laughs> yeah. thank you, sir. Um, and so the last question before closing is, um, our landfill is nearing the end of its useful life. What will you do or have you done as a council member or as former mayor to manage solid waste on Kauai? Please include your views on recycling, landfill site, um, source reduction, and other strategies. Oh my goodness. This. <laughs> has been an issue for a long, long time. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We were the first county to do a pay-as-you-throw program. I guess I'm sharing a little bit. And I know we went through a lengthy process of signing a new landfill uh, location, which was part of a previous study that was done. So we just went via the list, connected back to the community. First, we did, I think, two or three steps before we finally located the Maalo site, mm -hmm. right here in Lihue, at which triggered some issues with yep. endangered species and birds, but I still f believe we had the uh, process in place to address it, mm -hmm. working closely with the state. Um, and, and all that process took a time. We didn't just 
site that location. It was lengthy with community meetings and reaching out to key leaders, walking house to house, working with the businesses. Mm -hmm. Centrally located meant that the, the huge trucks, the delivery trucks would come to the central location, which opened up the, the transportation part uh, of the bypass road would also help that kind of flow mm -hmm. versus being way out into community. The, whether it be Kekaha or on the other location was actually in Kealia, mm. based on that study. So, you know, it, it's a big issue. In the meantime, we've got to reduce, reuse, recycle. I, I believed in a resource recovery park. I called it the Disneyland of waste. <laughs> we would educate our youth, our kids, on how to reduce, reuse, recycle everything first, and then the, whatever's left over would go into the landfill. Mm -hmm. And it was a partnership with our county government, of course, and private landowner as well. So all of that was there, and, and then the issue with the birds and stuff, which is okay, but we, there's a way I believe we can still address it yeah. and work closely with the key leaders and come together with groups and organizations to address this part and then move forward because it's going to be a very lengthy process. Yeah. And the existing landfill, you know, which is located right next to PMRF, you know, we talked about that too, yeah, on some of the issues and concerns there, and then how to really manage our, our waste and our landfill uh, for the island of Kauai. So I look forward to more open dialogue on that, but just as a community, we gotta make sure that, you know, we take whatever we've done and, and move it to the next level every step of the way yeah. to assure that we address our, our, um, our waste needs in general. Mm -hmm. And I totally support uh, MRF and reduce, reuse, recycle kind of programs, which we did. Yeah. And it's just a location where it's never going to be the right, right place. But looking at technology and maybe bridging and connecting some of the other resources that are available. And as a council member, um, you know, I look forward to reaching out and dialoguing and connecting to assure that we move forward ASAP. No time left. But in the meantime, you know, we have a pay as you throw program, which we did right. start. And this one of many to yeah. come. So look forward to more dialogue on that. All right, um, thank you again. So the last question um, is, please close by sharing what differentiates you from the other 13 candidates in the county council race this election year. Well, again, you know, I have a wealth of understanding and knowledge like I shared earlier in different levels in government. And it's not that, and I come to the table with that knowledge, but also come to the table wanting to listen and learn too and bring that connection. And I look forward to um, listening, connecting, bridging, all the information so we can make better decisions for the people that we serve on this beautiful island of Kauai. So again, with my background and my understanding of what it takes to get to different ways and securing resources and funding in different ways and working with our administration, we gotta work together no matter what. Um, I look forward to also learning, like I said, and hearing and, and, and bridging and connecting to assure that whatever the results are is for the betterment of our island, for our people, our island home, Kauai, the best island in the whole wide world. And um, so again, in closing, my name, Bernard Cavallo, I'm seeking a re-election as your county, one of the seven county council members. And believe me, um, I'll work hard and understand that, I understand the, what it takes to move things to the next level. It may not be as quick as everybody wants, but at least we have the resources, understanding, and go. And so with that, mahalo for the opportunity to share my mana'o with you, the people of Kauai Nihau, and look forward to one of your votes. So mahalo and aloha. And Mark, mahalo for your commitment and the chamber and all the work that you folks do as well. And I, I mahalo. Well, thank you, sir. Um, thank you, uh, Bernard, uh, for joining us today for this one-on-one -on -one interview. <laughs> Um, thank you again to Hoike Kauai Community Television uh, for helping uh, donate their services and time to make this possible. And thank you to all our sponsors. Aloha. Aloha.